Continue with market positioning. Um, when we're about market positioning, we're talking about consumers' perception about where your product is against that of competitors. Oh, product, this product is out of top. Oh, this product is in between. Oh, this product doesn't even have a position within the market. So the ladder of rank, the ladder of position that your product is within that competitive market is what we call market position. That's not. Today we're just talking about product differentiation. Because when you're able to differentiate your product, it allows your product here. Yes, it allows your product. You should be here and not doing something like that. Okay. When, you're able to, when you're able to differentiate your product, it allows your product to have a better position in the market. You get it? When you are able to successfully differentiate your product from that of competitors, it allows your business to be what? To be at the top of the, of the ranking in terms of position. So what is product differentiation? When we talk about product differentiation, it means, it means the uniqueness your product has to that of competitors. Your ability as a firm, your ability as a business to be able to make your product look unique than that of competitors or to that of competitors. That's what we call product differentiation. We get product differentiation. Yes. The uniqueness of your product to that of competitors. No, no. The uniqueness of your product that of competitors. Yes, uh, Product differentiation. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Okay. So then, purpose of product differentiation. Why do we have to differentiate our product from that of competitors? Why do we have to differentiate our product from that of, or from those of competitors? Number one, flexible pricing. What is flexible pricing? It implies that when you are able to successfully differentiate your product from that of competitors, you should you could able to charge a higher price because your products look unique. It's, it does, it's not like other products. So that might allow you to charge a higher price. And when, when you are able to charge a higher price, what happens? Your revenue will rise, leading to an increase in your profit. Do you understand? Yes. So a product, a company might try to differentiate its product so that it can increase its revenue through charging what? Flexible price, which is higher price. Is it clear? Yeah. The second one, Recognition. So that this is a product, this is a marker with a name, with a brand. So when you have other markets, I will be able to say no, it's not the same as that market because they are different. So let's say we have yeah. So this is BIC and this is another market. So they are not the same. The looks are not the same. So because the looks are not the same, it makes us to be able to differentiate them. This is what we like product differentiation. This company has made its own product different from this company, and this company has also made its own product unique from this. So we'll be able to recognize it when we get to the market. We won't be able to buy random products. We know what we want to buy by seeing them. That is recognition. Do we understand recognition? Being able to buy what you want to buy because of seeing it. That is recognition. Do we understand recognition? Is it clear? Yes. If not, let me explain again. Yeah.
can also help you to be able to produce this kind of product with different usage for different customers. That is market segment. Is it clear? Yes. Is it clear, please? Yes. Are you here? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. Yes. The fourth one, brand development. When you talk about a brand, what is a brand? The unique name of the product. Brand is what? The unique name of the product. So if you are able to differentiate your product from that of competitors for a longer period of time, it could allow you to have a very strong brand. Look at Apple. It's a very strong brand. Why? Because it's able to differentiate its product from that of competitors. Do we understand? Yes, sir. So Apple doesn't just come today. Apple has been there for so long. So its ability to be able to differentiate its product in that competitive mobile market has made it to be what it is today. That brand development is a clear. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Yeah. And the last one, overcome competition. Why do we even do product competition? You want to gain more customers. There are no customers in heaven, yes or no? Yes. Do we have customers in heaven? No. No. Okay. So that means all the customers are in this world. So whatever you produce, you have to try to get customers from your competitors. So when you are able to differentiate your product from that of your competitors, you might be able to get their customers. And your ability to be able to get their customers increases your Market share. Remember, market share is total brand sale. Market share. Total market share. It was total brand sale. Total market sale. Total market sale. Total market, market sale. Total market sale. Total market sale. Total market sale. Total market So, as a business, if you are able to differentiate your brand, it means you have more of this to you. Do you get it? Yes. As a business, if you are able to differentiate your brand from that of the market here, most of them will come to you. So your percentage in the market share will what will increase. Do you have any questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have one more In that market, there are a lot of competitors, there are a lot of rivals in that market. What do they do? They gain customers from each other. So they have the same customers. So what can you do as a business? You should be able to differentiate your product so that you can take their customers. And your ability to be able to take their customers allows you to have more customers in the market coming to you. So your brand sale will rise against the total market sale. You could have more customers in that market. Because this is the, this is the industry. This is the industry. Like the mobile phone. The mobile phone is an industry, it's a market itself. So Apple has its own share. Samsung has its own share and the rest of mobile phones. Oh, wow. Well, all of them have their own share, but which has the largest market share? It will be based on what uh, the kind of customers you have in the course of you trying to make your product different from that of your competitors. So when you are able to make your product different from that of your competitors, it increases your market sale. So the market sale will fall to come into you. So if you are losing your customers, your market, your total brand sale will, what? will fall. If you are gaining more customers, it means if you are gaining more customers, your competitors are losing customers. That is what it means. If you are gaining more customers, your competitors are losing what? Customers. If you are gaining customers, your competitors are doing what? Losing customers. Losing customers. And if you are losing customers, your competitors are doing what? Gaining customers. Is it clear? Yes. Any question about it? No. Yeah, yeah. 